I can turn my computer on remotely to this app. So when I press this, it's as if me pressing the switch on my computer. There's some electronics inside the computer. So there we go. I've turned the computer on. The screen is going to switch on. You can hear the computer booting. There it is. And going through the boot phases. And we're in. Now I can turn the computer off remotely as well. So if I press this button again, there we go, shutting down. So I can remotely turn the computer on and off, and this is as if the switch on top of the computer is being pressed. The way it works is when I press this button, they're both low, which is as if the switch is pressed. Uh, the switch is short circuiting these two pins. And when it's high, it's it's off. It's, it's as if the switch isn't being pressed. So when I press low, and I had to press high again, so I've released the switch. And then the computer is now going to turn on behind the screen. There it is, it's turning on. Alright, do you want to see the electronics inside the computer? If we look at the electronics inside the computer, we can see a particle photon here, and that's the brains of this operation. And this allows me to control it over the internet. I don't even need to be on the local LAN. I could be anywhere in the world and I can turn on my computer. This is a switch from the computer, so I can turn on and off the computer. And this goes into the particle photon on the spreadboard. And basically you saw the pin out of the particle photon and I'm turning one of those low. Which is activating the switch. Now you might be wondering how I'm, po I'm powering this. This particle photon is being powered from the motherboard has been powered by this pin right here. Now it's a 3 volt pin and I believe it's powering about 3.5 volts normally. According to the manual this pin is a 3 volt standby power on the TPM module connector which is trusted platform module. That gives me 3 volt at any time when the computer's off and on. That means this photon is powered 24-7. Always powered and connecting to the Wi-Fi. So we have thought of everything and look, you can see the photon is still powered on. Now, this also works if you press the power on the switch. If I press this, the computer will turn on as well. And there we go. The computer's turning on. So, I could turn it on, off, remotely, and I can even power it from the switch, on and off. So, no connectivity has, has disappeared. This is useful if you want a remote desktop in and you want to pick a file and there's nobody at home to turn on your computer or you want to access your computer remotely. Not only can you use this with the app, you could also make a web page that you can turn on and off your computer. And in terms of security, you have to use your login and username and password to log into the app so not anyone can use it and you can lock your phone and secure it. Now you can notice this is a breadboard. This could be put on a PCB and wrapped with captain tape and slapped on the top of this. Alright, see ya, bye.